Cora had some bad manners around other dogs. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give her a couple of corrections. I'm going to hand her to you. And so the correction is going to come suddenly. So in today's lesson, I introduce her to a few dogs and give her some simple tips on how to respond and how to react sit. with good manners when good. she's around other dogs. So that by now, that calms. She knows it's coming, right? And again, I've got her super loose. There's no pressure on that leash. Cora. And then I'm going to say, no, Cora. Cora, sit. Good. Probably the main reason Cora is barking like this is because of a prey drive. She wants to get near the dog. She wants to play with the dog. She wants to really engage the dog. But that's not a good behavior we want for the dog. So we're going to work on that in this session. So, so her bark right now is very prey driven. Like an alert bark. It's not an aggressive bark. Right. right? Yeah, she's more uh, yelping. Yeah. Yeah. And you see, this dog's giving her no energy whatsoever, right? So, so if she's doing it on that, that's, she's going to do it worse on another dog. Okay, so show me what you would do. Um, I would get, try to get her Okay. Now, taking okay, the dog good. away like this without a correction and kind of fussing with the dog isn't really getting the dog to understand yeah, what nothing. we really want. Okay. So she's selective. Very. Okay. But also, I'm good at, you know, yeah. Hey, hey, <laughs> right, hey, right, right. Hey, you know? Jessica, bring her back. So here, she's coming back in the same mode she left in. And part of this frustration is caused because of a harness that's on yeah. the dog. We're going okay. to address that in a second here. Do you always use that harness? And is there a reason? To, um, because I, I just had her on a flat collar and then all of a sudden that yeah. trainer was like, can we try the... Yeah, the, the, the flat collar won't work. And I noticed, yeah. I mean, just today, I took her up to walk today with, yeah. with the regular collar and this is so much better. Really? For her. Yeah. Okay. Right. The other um, collar, she's really pulling on yeah. this one, I can stop. Are her. you opposed to trying a different tool than that? No. Okay. Because what I'd like to do, I'd like to do as natural a tool as possible, and this is going to be something like a slip lead sure. or a choke chain or something like that. Yeah. Um, because she's she's able to. I mean, it's it's a, it's it's making her movements awkward, mm -hmm. right? Which is what the thought behind any kind of no pull harness is. It's like. I cinch your legs and you are uncomfortable. I pull you to the side, you're uncomfortable. What I really want to do is focus on your relationship with the dog as opposed to making the dog uncomfortable in a tactical sense with a tool. I'd like to make her, I'd like to give her a space of comfort and pressure and release when she sees the other dog. I think it'll open up your communication sure. with her a lot, right? So let's just put this, this is just a simple slip lead. Put this on her head, just like the way it is there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. And then just, you don't even need to, and you just push that, push the stopper up so she doesn't pull out of it. Right. And then just unhook the harness, just so it's not bothering her. I'm going to show her a little bit of leash pressure and release, mm -hmm. um, just to give her an idea of what's about to come. And the way I'm going to do that, what's her name? Cora. Cora. Good girl. I always want to present the potential correction the to the dog before it's in a pressure situation. So and when she showing the dog what pressure, to expect good. in a neutral environment helps the dog right. set up for good. being ready for the correction Apparently when the stressor is involved. So all I want her to do is, I'm going to do this, right? And you can do the same thing, pressure and pressure goes off. And this teaches pressure. the dog how to turn off pressure on the leash. I don't pull her. Good. She learns so to turn off that pressure to here. Gonna, here comes the other dog. Okay, she's going to pull forward. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give her a couple corrections. I'm going to hand her to you. Okay. Cora, come here. Now, here we go. And Watch so the Cora. correction is going to come suddenly. And that correction came and instantaneously. And you'll see here that there's no constant pressure, pressure on the leash. There's a pop and a release. Pressure. And Good when she comes girl. back to me, all that pressure is turned off. Cora, sit. Good. I tell her what to do instead of what so not to do. So he's a lot closer than he was before. Yeah. Okay. And this is where you guys got to decide. When she goes, I let her go correct. and correct. Sorry about that. Sure. You're right in the... Yeah, there you go. Good. Good. So notice she's moving away. Good. Cora. Still nope. interested. Pressure. But I guide her Good. back Cora, to where sit. I want her. No. Sit. Again, I tell her what I want her to do. 
as sit. opposed to yelling at her for doing the wrong thing, I'd give no. her a job. Please sit. Sit. Good. One more time, honey. Sit. And the dog can obviously look at the other dog, but it can't lunge at the dog. So here nice. she's sitting. And then I'm going to move her away. Cora. And by me moving backwards, Good it girl, moves the dog backwards right? to follow. So the idea here is going to be a little simpler than the harness. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to have you guys both do this. Okay. The thing is, I, I know being pregnant, it's just this puts a lot of pressure on your body. That's the only reason I wanted to have you come along. So I'm going to let her walk. Come on. So she's going to lunge forward. And when she lunges, I go the other way. And the dog follows. And correct. One more time. And again, this is just redirecting her Good. play Cora. drive back towards me. And then when you do this, it's going to be different because right now she's perplexed between you and the dog, right? Which is totally normal. But one more time. Now Loose watch leash. how still she's gotten the corrections. Let's see if she got the message. Cora. And on the loose Good, leash, right? after so it's a few by corrections. Applying pressure, teaching her how to get out of that understands. pressure, which we did in the initial phase. Stop. Nope. Yeah. In other words, it's abrupt pressure. And what I try to do with my pressure is it's at the end of this leash, right? Yeah. I don't want to correct her when she's close to me. This is like the one doctrine that I preach over and over and over, is that if I'm correcting her here, this is personal. Oh, I see. Right? Yeah. This is like, this is a conflict between right. me and the dog. She shouldn't have a conflict with me. I love her, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I love my dog. There's no conflict here. The conflict comes when you choose to be away from me and get in trouble, right? So for, oh, for Right, yeah. so now the last part of this, I'm going to have him sitting and I'm going to walk her towards him and I'm going to do the exact same correction. I'm going to hand you guys a leash and you can do the same thing, right? Okay. Hey, Cora, Cora, come on, let's go. Good girl, come Make on. Make this part exciting. I'm going to walk her here and I'm going to say, Cora. And with just a verbal. Come here, good girl. The dog redirects right? and starts to learn the picture through right. fair corrections. 